Hi all folks, this is Max from um, GalaxyNexusRoot.com um, So I've got a uh, ROM of the week is AOKP Build 1 um, This one's actually been out for a little bit uh, But it's very very stable um, Let me just give you a walkthrough of it It's also available, the official version is available for GSM And also Verizon And also there is an unofficial version um, for Sprint uh, Should work just as well uh, but let me give you a little tour. Um, let's go to settings and uh, let's go to about phone. It's based off one uh, 4.1.1, obviously. And you can see there um, the numbers there. And let's actually go look at uh, ROM control here. Um, so, with the build one, it's supposed to be pretty much stable version of it. So, that's why I called it build one. Um, they called it, I mean. Uh, general UI, you can do custom carrier label, um, all this great stuff. Lock screen, you can change the um, lock screen wallpaper. Uh, there's no lock screen customization uh, yet um, for that. It should be coming, um, but let's go look at some of the other stuff. Navigation bar, we've seen that plenty of times. Battery, um, clock, toggles. And uh, this is pretty much stuff you've probably seen if you've been flashing a lot of AOKP ROMs before. If you haven't, just mess around with it. Um, LED options. This has kind of changed with the Jelly Bean version, as you can see. Um, you can actually, it's it's a slightly different menu here. Um, LED off. Test LED. Okay. Why is it not working? Oh. Oh, let's test it. Yeah. Um, ah, you know what? Oops. Let me do this. And uh, let's test LED. Um, yes. There you go. So now you can see it. Um, you can test it if you like it. That was kind of a little too quick. Let's try that again. There you go. And uh, that's kind of cool. Um, Select. You can even choose apps now, so which is really cool. You can choose like um, applications and uh, Gmail if you want, and you know, sell your LED to whatever notification you want. Uh, for sound, um, you can see there's some more stuff here. Change from gel, um, from gingerbread, I mean, and also weather widget if you want to pull weather in your lock screen. And performance has changed. Uh, Often now, not often, I've changed dramatically. Now you can overclock up to 1.8 gigahertz. I've actually been running at 1.8 gigahertz just fine. Um, you know what? Let's let's do some testing just for fun. Yeah, Eight, at 1800 megahertz, 1.8 gigahertz, and uh, let's just run Quadrant. Probably wouldn't get that much good scores on Quadrant, um, but certainly should give you. Um, performance on gaming and stuff. I don't really recommend overclocking unless you know you're just a fiend and you need to you know overclock your your computer, your you know phone, everything. Actually, I've got my uh computer overclocked and everything, but um this could be, you know, great if you're playing games and stuff. Um, you know, the only reason I overclock my computer is, you know, because I make videos and I have to render it. Um overclocking makes a huge difference. But for most apps and stuff, it's not going to make a huge difference at all. Um, so I don't recommend it unless you uh, run like graphic intensive apps or, you know, apps like, you know, 3D games or, you know, games in general. Um, it could help you. But if, if it doesn't help you, don't overclock it because you'll get way worse battery life. Um, if you want to actually get better battery life, underclock it uh, to like 1 gigahertz. Because you can mo run most apps. A lot of these newer phones, they have uh, such fast CPU than you know the actual apps can take advantage of. So you don't actually have to run that fast. Um, so you can get better battery life if you want. Ah, what happened? You know what? Sorry. We'll do that. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll leave that up to you. You're not gonna get huge uh, different scores. Plus, don't use uh, Quadron. Actually, use Antutu for benchmarks. Um, but it's a good feeling that you can overclock it to that high. Um, so that's a slightly changed and uh, there's a, a lot of good ROMs right now I'm not gonna say this is the best one there's a ton of great ROMs right now um, so try the different ones 
But uh, for this week, we got ROM of the Week. Try it out on your phone. And also, if you want to get this red theme, I've actually got downloaded a theme off the Play Store. You can download any themes for AOKP, CM9, CM10, uh, pretty much, and uh, change your theme. Um, but that's what I have. This is um, Red Blast theme. So I like it. Um, check it out, and uh, everything should be working just fine. San Francisco Giant Score. Uh oh, what happened? San Francisco Giant Score. Oh, you know what? I might have, I might have installed the older version of Google Apps. Make sure you install the version I include here, August twenty sixth. I think that that one works just fine. But um, check out AOKP ROM for your Galaxy Nexus for this week, and uh, should be a pretty good ROM. And also, code name is very good. Also, Black Bean is very good. Um, all those ROMs are very, very similar. Um, you know, one of them may uh, like you more or you like them more. <laughs> so check it out. Let me know what you think of this ROM, AOKP Build 1. And if you have a Galaxy Nexus, as always, don't forget to sign up for our email list at rootgalaxynote.com. We update you once a week with ROM of the Week, tips, hacks, and more. And also, it's a great way for you to get in contact with me and others if you have trouble with your phone. And uh, please share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. And if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button and subscribe button up there. It helps me greatly. And uh, have a great week getting high on Android, yo. Yeah.